What is going on guys? We are back with another video today on Madden 21 and we're doing another experiment. This time we are taking this experiment from one of you guys. I believe Dat Boy Gummy asked me we should do a experiment to see what would happen if every team had the exact offensive and defensive playbooks along with their schemes. And of course, I'm just starting here with the Vikings because we are going to be using their offense because no matter how good their team is, they always do badly in sim. So we're going to be going with the uh, West Coast zone run and Minnesota offense. And then for defense, we're going to be using the Jets defense across the board. I was thinking about doing a 4-3 and a 3-4, but I was like, that's kind of you know split both ways. We're just going to do it. Whatever happens, happens. But of course, before we do that, we have to at least see what happens with the first regular sim without changing the playbooks. And yes, it is going to be annoying changing the playbooks. I have, in fact, tested it where if I go as a coach, change the playbooks, leave, they're going to be the same. Even if I sim, I, I tested it with uh, several teams and it worked. They all stayed the same, thankfully. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing this, obviously. So uh, going to the playoffs, the Vikings always struggle. I literally just did a sim a second ago. Also 5-11, and 11, and here you're going to see I did not force any losses or anything weird like that. So the Vikings offense, just not good enough. Defense, kind of trash, I suppose, in Madden. Okay, Vikings fans, don't get mad at me. Even as a Packers fan, I'm not going to say that they're a bad team. I think the entire division is going to be pretty good. Even the, I don't know, the Bears might be the worst team in the division, honestly, record-wise. And it might not even be that bad. It might be like an 8-8 eight eight or 9-7. and seven. It's ridiculous. I don't even know if that's physically possible. But I'm going to be done talking now. As far as the standings go, uh, this is what the teams look like. Falcons at one, Ravens two, Rams, Bucks. Here is what it looks like for the uh, the teams. So I'm actually going to write down who the playoff teams were right now. And as far as the league leaders go, I'm going to go for the top three at the positions we care about. So as far as QB goes, Kirk Cousins don't really care too much because he's not going to be one of the top three. Uh, as far as overall go do we just go by based on uh let's just go based on passer rating so lamar jackson was the best oh god i've done it now i've done it now uh the best pass rating goes to lamar jackson and then we all saw the second one it was mahomes don't don't act like you didn't know it was gonna be him and then russell wilson at number three uh something tells uh, let's just do the top five because this might be pretty similar both sides also it would be cool if you liked and subscribed if you like these types of videos. Yay! For this one, we're just going to go based off of yards. Makes more sense. Uh, so, Elliot, Chubb, and McCaffrey. Wow, that's... It's almost like that's going to be the same as well. <laughs> we'll see, though. Obviously, we don't know. You know, completely different scheme. Might not be the case. Uh, Court and Sutton. Uh, Sutton. Sutton did very well. Uh... Keenan Allen and Adams at the top five. Well, we'll do top five for this one. Humphreys, Conley. But yeah, I, I like doing these types of videos. So if you have suggestions for these, let me know. I don't really care about blocking. I really don't. I do not care at all. Let's go sack totals. Aaron Donald. Uh, okay, this one really don't need to mention. But, uh, you know, it could change because we we're going to be changing some players from 3-4 three, four to 4-3 four, three and whatnot. And then as far as picks go, uh, this one's going to be kind of random, but we'll... Actually, I'd rather... Mm, let's just put them all on. Damn it. Tackles, Mosley, Thompson, and McMillan. As for kicking, doesn't matter. None of that other stuff matters. Let's take a look at who wins the Super Bowl in this normal sim. And then we're going to get to the part that's going to suck, where we have to go through 32 different teams, filter through the non-alphabetical order offensive and defensive playbooks, and ultimately disappoint all of you in the long run. Chiefs win the Super Bowl. Cool. All right, we have that all completed. Now we will be going to our other one. Uh, I already did do the Packers, and I'm just going to go from the left to the right. So the Panthers are the next team that we will be rocking the Vikings offense, West Coast power, and then the Jets 3-4 defense under. My Xbox is going to explode. So Packers and Panthers are completed. Why didn't they just make it alphabetical? I know after this is over, I'll remember exactly where every single one is. But as for right now, I'm not going to. Three down, 29 to go. Another team down, the Raiders. If this doesn't result in any different change, like it's all pretty much the same, I am going to cry. But I'm almost certain it will. 
They might just have it baked into the code where, and baked into the code sounds weird, by the way. <laughs> they might just have it where no matter what, it's the same teams do the same pretty much stuff for the first season. Which would suck, but there goes the Rams. And we're only going to get like a thousand views. Yay, amount of 21 views. Love it, EA. Thanks for creating a piece of crap. Love you. Well, the Ravens are done. I mean, I imagine you guys trust me by now, but I'm just, all the work I'm doing, if it doesn't change, I want there to be physical proof that I did not, you know, cut corners and say, oh, and I did a few on screen and then the rest stayed the same because I got lazy. No, we're not doing that. Day 36 of doing the worst <laughs> challenge on YouTube. And it's not even a challenge, it's an experiment. Speaking of challenges, let me know, uh, suggest some things you'd like to see challenge-wise. Seahawks are done. Steelers are done. Texans are done. We're, we're, okay. Texans are, Titans are done. Well, this one should be easier. We should be halfway there. I didn't show you, but the Bears are done. Here we go. Bengals are done. Bills are done. Broncos are done. The Browns are done. And I finally know the Browns head coach's name because I had never heard it once before in my life. Hey, that was very quick. Hats off to Bruce. Don't take your hat off. I think he's bald. Nothing wrong with being bald, though. He's actually a sexy man. What? Cardinals are done. And I always think of cereal when I see Cliff Kingsbury's name. Chargers are done. Chiefs are done. Colts are done. Oh, we can close. I can smell it. That and it's getting sweaty in here, so it's probably me I can smell. I will tell you, though, Mike McCarthy sitting out for a year was, uh, was a smart move. I'm just going to say it. What a move. It was either go to the Browns or go to Dallas. He definitely won. And we're done with that. Nice. Dolphins are done. Eagles are done. Falcons are done. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. There's like five teams left, please. Niners are done. Giants are done. The Jaguars are done. Coach, it looks like a PETA nothing are done. And the final freaking team. <gasps> I'm so happy. I Once again, I said I was going to learn the location of all these by the end of the time it was over. 100% not. I can't wait till like I realize halfway through I was doing the wrong uh, thing. Like It was like, you're supposed to do uh, West Coast Power Run and not this or whatever. Oh, we're almost done. Please just get it in there. That's what she said. Yeah, there we go. So we have all 32 teams with the exact same playbooks and schemes. I cannot wait for us to not see a single difference. <laughs> if that's the case, I will actually cry. That is going to be disgustingly bad if that's the case. So the Vikings, for three straight Sims, have not won over six games. They went 5-11, 5-11, and 6-10 for me. Uh, as far as the standings go, uh, we had the Falcons, Ravens, Rams, Bucks, Chargers, Cowboys, Patriots, Hawks, Bengals, Packers, Bears all make the playoffs. This time, the Saints make it, the Browns make it, the Cowboys make it again, the Niners make it this time, the Chiefs... Why didn't we have the Chiefs on the list? We must have missed the Chiefs. The Chiefs are on the list for sure. Texans, I don't think they were. Bears uh, were not. Oh, no, the Bears were. Packers were. Seahawks were. Colts were not. I don't know if the, no, the Ravens were on there. Steelers were not, and Panthers were not. So any big name drops. The Falcons dropped from 11-5 to 5-11. and Eagles probably dropped quite a bit. The, Tex uh, the Titans probably dropped a bit. And then I think that might be it. No, the Patriots dropped off three or four wins. So we did see a little bit different from the top rankings, but that could just be, you know, kind of random. Doesn't really, you know, might have just been random completely. Taking a look at the top performers in the passer rating category. Let's take a look at those numbers. So the number one guy is Breeze this time. Last time it was Mr. Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson goes number two. Ben Roethlisberger, number three, Rodgers, number four, and Brady, number five. Before it was Lamar Jackson, Mahomes, Wilson, Rivers, and Ryan. So completely different numbers there. Overall numbers themselves, any crazy differences? Uh, Wentz, I don't know how he normally performs. Stafford, uh, that's pretty average for him. Garoppolo, I don't know if that's good or not. Overall, though, the passing numbers, I can admit, seem a lot worse than normal. A lot worse than normal, without a doubt. Looking at the top rushers now, based on yards, the number one is Zeke. Yet again, I guess it just doesn't matter. Zeke's always number one. Chubb was number two last time, and CMC number three. This time, it's Kamara at two. 
Henry at three, Mixon at four, then CMC. Chubb is way down there at like seven or eight. As far as receiving goes, we had a tight end with the number one list. I, that's got to be something to do with the scheme, right? Uh, 1,189 yards for Howard. I believe Sutton and the other guys were way over. So the Vikings scheme definitely does not favor. Well, the Vikings scheme kind of sucks. The rushing numbers weren't great, and the receiving numbers were terrible. Uh, for receivers, it was Sutton, Allen, Adams, Humphreys, and Collins, uh, Conley, which, I mean, is not really that great in fairness. But O.J. Howard, Pascal, Willie Sneed, Traquan Smith, and Albert Wilson. Look at the names. These are all basically the number three wide receivers and tight ends. Look at the names on the list. So if you want your not number one or number two receiver to do well, go ahead and choose that that uh, offensive West Coast power with Minnesota offense. Uh, as far as defense, now we're talking about the Jets. Things are going to change a little bit because, of course, 3-4-4-3, three, four, four, three, we kind of just went for a, a one do it all package as far as sacks go oh my do not use the jets do not use the jets we had a 20 sack performance of donald the highest this time is sue at 11 and a half eric's arm set at 11 calais at 10 and a half cox at 10 and simon at nine and a half we didn't have a single repeat from the original which was mac at number two donald number one miles garrett at number three tj watt at four and vaughn at five Picks could be the same, could be random. As far as this goes, the last one was Ramsey, Sherman, and Tranquil. This one is not the same at all. As far as tackles, Mosley did lead the league again. Number two last time was uh, Thompson and Raekwon McMillan. This time it's Kwiatkowski and Dante Hightower. Uh, of course, you do see Sha Shaq Thompson there. So this one's a little bit more based on how, uh, you know, well, what position they're playing and, you know, the fact they're on certain teams, I guess, they're the best players there. Let's take a look at the yearly awards just for the hell of it. MVP, Lamar Jackson. Uh, Lamar Jackson, Offensive Player of the Year. Kwiatkowski at number uh, one for Defensive Player of the Year. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Herbert. And Defensive Rookie of the Year, Patrick Queen. Lamar Jackson, number one. Bell at number two. Pascal. Look at the names of wide receiver. I mean, these names. The only real name that has a chance of doing that is T.Y. Hilton. Uh, O-line doesn't really matter. That's always going to go based on the overall... Pass rush is still the same. Very interesting stuff for the AFC. And then for the NFC, Kamara wins Offensive Player of the Year with Trubisky right behind him. Defensive Player of the Year goes to Wagner. Lamb, Offensive Rookie of the Year. Chase Young, Defensive Rookie of the Year. Best QB was Breeze right behind Rodgers. Or right behind was Rodgers and then Trubisky. These were the running backs. Wide receivers, once again, uh, the only true guys that can win it were near the end of the list. Maybe DJ Moore, maybe Tyler Lockett. Maybe Adams, maybe Hopkins and Thomas. Those make more sense. O-line, once again, we don't care. It's based on overall. D-line makes sense, even though they weren't on the top sacks list. Uh, Chandler Jones and Mack were on the top of the linebackers. And then DBs makes a bit of sense. Very interesting stats. Very interesting. Specifically, the the uh, receiving and quarterback stats. Going to the Super Bowl last time, it was the Chiefs over the Falcons. This time... It is the Saints and Browns. Wow, shocker there. And the winner of that one is the Browns over the Saints. I don't know if this helped you at all decide on anything. I don't know if this was even a good experiment. But if you liked it, maybe leave a like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Jump you care. But the main thing you do is let me know in the comment section below what type of experiment you would like to see. Because there are a lot of things that I would kind of like to see, but I don't want to make the rosters. But... Maybe you guys have one that isn't going to take me all freaking month to make the roster for. And then later today should be some sort of video. Maybe face the franchise. Maybe another Washington vid. I do not know yet. I haven't physically decided. So we'll see. But there will be two videos today. And then tomorrow will be some sort of rebuild. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see